My name is Singit Lee. I'm a laboratory assistant in Kramer Group, and I'm studying Hofmeister series on hydrophobic polymers with Dr. Kramer and Mr. Stilianus. And today I'm going to introduce OptiMelt and its software. The OptiMelt is a device which allows for a gradual increase in temperature. There is a viewing chamber where the user can see the exact moment that a solid melts or, in our case, the moment that a polymer solution undergoes a phase transition. This phase transition will cause the solution to go from clear to cloudy due to light scattering. Within the viewing chamber on the OptiMelt, there is a digital camera which connects with a software program on the computer. This allows for the process occurring within the chamber to be viewed, recorded, and saved for further analysis. The program also records data on the intensity of the light scattering and produces a graph in real time. Now, we're going to um, try measuring the phase tra transition of NIPEM solution. Here, I have a sample prepared of a NIPEM. So the NIPEM solution is suspended in a capillary tube here. I'm going to insert the capillary tube in the chamber and I set the starting temperature as 28 and the end stop temperature as 35. I'm gonna start it now. Here's a graph of uh, phase transition of night pen. Here, as a function of temperature, the light scattering intensity is recorded. The phase transition of night pen starts right about 33 degrees Celsius and it continues up to 34 degrees Celsius and we would call the mid midpoint in between those two points which is 33.5 degrees Celsius as phase transition temperature. Today we will be working on determining the phase transition for night pump combined with varying concentrations of salt solutions while learning about the Hoffmeister series. In our lab we would perform this analysis using OptiMelt as you just saw. In order to perform this experiment at the high school level, we will be using a thermometer and a hot plate instead. I hope you enjoyed this look into our work here in the Kramer Group at Penn State.